This is the Hermann Manus Type E. In an earlier video I showed the Type F, which has several improvements over this version. The Type E was made from 1948 till about 1953. It was uh, designed by Christel Hamann uh, when he was working for DTV, Deutsche Telefonwerke. And the first versions of this machine were made in the 1920s. It looks like a pinwheel machine and you use it almost the same way. You have these input levers with which you set an, a number, a crank on the right hand side, and if you turn the crank that adds the input to the main register and increments the counter register. The input gets cleared automatically at the moment so you can just add another number by entering it and turning the crank. You can uh, clear the input manually with this button here as well. That button is now being pressed each time you turn the crank. You can see it moving down. If I uh, push this button down and rotate it so that its arrow points to the right, that puts it into multiplication mode, so now it will not be pressed when you turn the crank. So the input remains here. Uh, let me clear the register first with this lever on the right and I'll clear the counter with the lever on the left. The, uh, the uh, Type F machine has both these clearing levers on the right so that you can clear both counters with one hand in one movement. Anyway, it's now in multiplication mode and that allows you to add the input several times just by turn the, turning the crank several times so that you can do a small multiplication. I can shift the carriage with these arrow buttons I'll shift it to the right and then I can turn the crank to uh, do the tens of the uh, multiplier So now I've multiplied this input number by 64 instead of just 4. And if I shift it again, I can do the hundreds. And so on. I can also move the crank, uh, move the carriage by hand, just pulling it, or by pushing this, this button here and uh, allowing it to move uh, like that. Uh, to subtract, I can't just turn the crank in the opposite direction. Instead, I have to switch it to subtraction mode, and that's by, done by shifting this uh, button from add to subtract. The carriage moved slightly to the right, and what that does is it uh, connects the uh, main register to the rest of the mechanism, through an intermediate gear instead of directly. And that makes them turn in the opposite direction. So that now when I turn the crank, it will subtract. Um, yeah, and when you subtract, the counter is decremented unless you change this switch. At the moment it's set to plus so that the counter counts the number of additions, uh, the net number of additions, but if you put it to minus it'll count the number of subtractions. So I've done addition, subtraction and multiplication. The party trick of this machine is that it also does uh, division but it does it automatically. So let's uh, show you how to do that. First I'll enter uh, a number, I'll move this all the way to the right. I can also enter a number in the register using these, uh, yeah, these wheels directly, just set it directly. And I'll divide 355 by 113, the classic approximation to pi. 
I'll clear the counter, set it to count the subtractions. I don't have to explicitly uh, set it to subtraction mode, but I have to set it into uh, division mode, which is done by put, pushing the carriage to the right a bit further and pushing in this, uh, this knob at the front. Now it's in uh, division mode. So all I have to do now is turn the crank until it's finished. At the end, it, uh, when the carriage has moved all the way to the left, nothing happens when you turn the crank. It's now no longer connected to the rest of the mechanism. And the result of the division can be shown, can be read off here, 3.1415929. The remainder of the division is 23. So there we go, this is the Hammond Manus Type E. Thank you for watching.